Hey, fam. It's your girl Asha Dang and back at it and today we're going to be checking out for the first time comedian Stuart Francis. I made a community post asking you guys what other comedians you want me to react to. He was one of them. I'm actually going to react to every last suggestion. If you're new here and would like to check out my other videos, I'm going to have the links up at the top. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Before I get into this video, let's get your girls to 200 likes. I'm trying to get back in that algorithm. Okay, enough of me talking and let's get straight into this reaction. They are next. Next act is an internationally acclaimed comedian, <laughs> originally from Canada. Yep. He's headlined all He's over the Canada? United States and even written for The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. He's now based in the UK. Please welcome Stuart Francis. Big welcome. I don't know why I automatically assumed that he was a Brit. I automatically assumed that, but he's from Canada. He's a Canadian. I haven't heard of you either. <laughs> it's okay. Before I rock the microphone, I want to uh, I want to dedicate my performance tonight to my father, who was a roofer. So, Dad, if you're up there, hey, Dad. <laughs> Standing in the park today, wondering why does a frisbee appear larger the closer it gets, and then it hit me. <laughs> Went to a karaoke bar last night that didn't play any 70s music. At first, I was afraid. <laughs> oh, I was petrified. <laughs> I don't know why, but automatically, once he said that I was afraid, and he said 70s, 70s music, for some reason, the song just automatically popped up in my head. <laughs> Did I already do my deja vu joke? Who's addicted to tea? Hates the way I say things. <laughs> tea kettle. And that's like a list, right? She doesn't enjoy my visit. <laughs> tea kettle. I'm the kettle. <laughs> my dad has a weird hobby. Collects empty bottles, which sounds so much better than alcoholic, doesn't it? <laughs> you better go cash them. I was on the impression my dad didn't like me very much because he hardly ever did anything with me. He only took me fishing once, and I remember swimming back to shore thinking, Wait, what? My dad doesn't like me very much. Oh my god, I, that literally almost went over my head. Literally, just like that, but I caught on. I went golfing once, <laughs> and I remember swimming back to shore thinking, what? It's a lot like fishing. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Uh, I've been going out with my girlfriend for... Sex. <laughs> exactly. That's what you're supposed to be doing, having sex. You like the sex. My girlfriend says I'm afraid of commitment. Well, she's not my girlfriend. She's more a wife. <laughs> decided we don't want children. If anybody does, we can drop them off tomorrow. <laughs> Come and get these damn kids, okay? Sometimes I just don't want to be a parent. Come get these kids. I'm with you, Stuart. I'm definitely with you and your wife, okay? We are here. Please. <laughs> he said, please. Now we have a beautiful little girl who we named after my mom. In fact, passive-aggressive psycho turns five tomorrow. <laughs> Movie, right? So Halloween is soon upon us. I remember the first time my father took me trick or treating. I remember swimming back to shore thinking <laughs> Snoopy costumes are heavy when they're wet. <laughs> Your dad didn't like me <laughs> I like what mechanics wear overall. <laughs> People call me a hypochondriac, which uh, really hurts. <laughs> you sound like her. I quit my job at the helium gas factory. I refuse to be spoken to in that tone. <laughs> Wait, I love this type of um, stand-up. This is like, I don't know. I don't know how to 
explain it, but it's hilarious. And I don't know, it's just catchy. Like, I just love it. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's different. That's the thing, my friends, I'm a one-liner comedian. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm not a storyteller. Interesting how that all started. Oh. <laughs> but wait, he literally telling the story with one line. Literally. So I'm amazing. tired of people calling me lazy. I've had it up to here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am lazy. I'm so lazy. Um... <laughs> write a punch uh, <laughs> just because i have arthritis doesn't mean i can't live a normal home <laughs> Tyranny. that's one thing i truly do respect about you people here in britain <laughs> you get irony and it's everywhere Today I slapped a homeless person so hard, <laughs> my charm bracelet fell off. <laughs> what? Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Irony. Sharon Osbourne judges talent. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Irony. There's a paper in Britain called The Sun. <laughs> You can't write this stuff. <laughs> There's a paper in Britain called The Sun. Yes. My father was a man of few words. I remember he used to say to me, son. Oh, son. Get your trunks, we're going to the library. Oh, my God. What happened? I went to university on a swimming scholarship. <laughs> I was going to join the debating team, but someone talked me out of it. <laughs> Your dad. Uh, I want to write a mystery novel. Or do I? <laughs> I actually have written a book. Or have I? <laughs> I won't do it again. Or will he? <laughs> it's hard to tell with this renegade. I've written a book about a transsexual with a speech impediment. It's titled Man or Myth. <laughs> Man or Myth. Bookstores. I'd love to go to bookstores. <laughs> Sorry, wrong joke. I'd love to go to bookstores and say to the clerk, hello, I'm looking for a book titled How to Deal with Rejection Without Killing. <laughs> Do you have it? <laughs> Why is so serious his face? His facial expression. says I have a preoccupation with vengeance. We'll see about that. <laughs> Do I watch a lot of television? Oh, yes. <laughs> You're right. Maybe too much. <laughs> my favorite show is Richard and Judy. I have a lot of respect for Richard. I couldn't work with my mother. <laughs> I don't know which one that is. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm a romantic. <laughs> I'm such a romantic. I actually remember my first date. Uh, my father came along and acted as a chaperone, which was awkward because my date couldn't swim, but the point. <laughs> <laughs> the dad jokes. Oh, my God. The dad jokes. Lord have mercy. I so remember, I, I remember my dead uncle Harry once saying, <laughs> he died two years later. <laughs> he was crushed by a piano. His funeral was very low key. <laughs> very low key, oh my God. <laughs> I can't leave you on that note. As fantastic as you are, I sadly have to leave. I'm a member of Over Actors Anonymous, and we have an Over Actors Anonymous meme that starts in. <laughs> an hour. Sir Francis, you've been fantastic.
fantastic in that area. Oh my god! This was hilarious! This was definitely different and I'm guessing it's kind of like a one-liner and I feel like he was telling a story I don't know how to put it into words but this was definitely amazing I don't know I don't know how to explain it I need to digest it some more because it was definitely different wasn't too over the top comment down below let me know what you guys think don't forget let's get your girl to 200 likes and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, fam.